All right, so what's your name? Brittany Nicole and Phillips. Brittany, how old are you? 22. Where are you from originally? Arizona. You from Phoenix? Um, small town Buckeye. Oh, you're from Buckeye? Yeah. What brings you all the way out here? Um, just a little personal, um, getting arrested. Yeah. You got arrested? I, yeah, got me warning and stuff. Did you just get out or what? About a month ago. Yeah. How long were you in there? Um, 45 days with reach out. Well, 90 days with reach out. So what's your current situation right now? Are you homeless? Um. Something like that? Uh, kind of, I mean. Um, no, I have somewhere to stay in. Oh, do you? Yeah, a little bit. When I'm staying with friends and stuff, but I don't have my own personal place, no. Okay. How'd you end up in that situation? Leaving, um... I don't know, it's a lot. What's that? It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot to get into? Yeah, a little bit. So what do you do to survive out here? Do you have a job or... No, I don't have a job. How um, do you get money out here? Well, I do a little bit of a cleaning over, like on the, picking up the, the land and stuff. Landscaping. Okay. Yeah. How long have you been doing that for? Just a couple days. Okay. About a, maybe like a week or... What's up with your shoes? Where's your shoes at? I broke my sandals while walking. Oh, did you? Yeah. What, do they have heels or what? Uh, no, no, they're just sandals. Sandals? <laughs> yeah. The zip between my right here fell. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was like, how do you break the sandals? By walking, <laughs> tripping over them. Where were you going right now? Oh, uh, just down the street. <laughs> down 27th Ave? Yeah. And what, Indian school? Camel. Between Camel and Indian, yeah. All right. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your childhood growing up? Um. Growing up, I lived with my mom um, until I was about 12. Um, I lived with my nana for probably just two years and then back with my mom. Um, my mom always made sure we had shelter food and supply rents and we we're always in school, you know. My mom, she used to work as a DO in um, Lewis Prison or a white shirt, Lewis Prison. Um, graduated from high school, went to high, uh, college, but I, grad I dropped out for a boy. That was one of my, my main issues. Yeah. A boy? Yeah. It's always a guy, huh? Yeah. So what, what happened with you and that guy? Um, we ended up, well, I ended up getting like stalked by this woman due to like someone, but I stalked by her, she was talking crap. I stalked her in her mouth, or in her nose or whatever it was. Cops came, they ended up saying that he had some warrant or whatever, so he got charged and ended up staying in there and I got out because it was my first charge. So is that the time that you went to jail this time? No, these were for um, theft of means, criminal damage, and drug paraphernalia. Oh, that was this time? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm on probation. Are I you? Yeah. How many years? Um, two years. Each. Um, no, two different cases, but two years each. Okay. Starting at the same time. But, uh, so are you on the booze out here or anything like that? No, currently no. Okay. That's good. Yeah. You ever mess around? What do you mean? You ever mess around with the blues? Oh, I've tried them before. Yeah? I've tried them, yeah. How'd you manage to get off of that? The help of detox. My mom always pushed me into detox. And yeah. Yeah. That's good, man. Because over here, they're, they're heavy out here on 27th Ave. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Well, I wouldn't know, but... Um, you wouldn't know? I mean, I don't know. So you say you have somewhere to stay, right? Yeah. Okay, I was going to ask you more about the homeless life, but you've never been homeless before? Um... No. No? I mean, I've, I've stayed out in the, in the streets for a couple days and stuff, not going back home, but... Where were you coming from? Thomas, from the Q team. From 43rd right there? Yeah. 
where they all hang out right there by the bus stop. Oh, there was nobody over there, so I don't know. Oh, who? I don't know. What was that? I said I didn't see anybody over there this time, but yeah. Okay. So you're 22 years old, right? Yes. What kind of hopes and dreams do you have for the future? Um, I want to be a teacher, a businesswoman. I mean, as my goals for the future. Make sure we're all on track and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. You said you went to college? Yeah, for two weeks. What'd you study for? Um, fuck, I don't know. Dental. Or not dental. Um, I'm sorry, I can't do this right now. I'm like, I can't even think right now. Can't think? Mm -hmm. Why, what's up? You're like, damn, I shouldn't have done this, huh? Yeah, no, there's too much going on in my life right now. I can't even focus. That's, that's what I'm trying to get to. That's what I'm trying to, like get you to talk about what like what's going on in your life um just some personal i don't, I don't know i don't want to talk about it at least not right now no. i don't know do you, do you need any help out here in the streets do you need any donations do you need any food any clothes any money any anything like that um because like i have a pretty big following mm. and most of the time, like, I ask people if they have, like, an email or anywhere where they can contact them if they need anything. So, if you need clothes, food, anything like that, do you have an email that you want to share? No. No? Not me. What do you need out here? Um, I don't know. Clothing, food, and stuff like that. But that's just that's the thing I get on my own. I don't know. I don't know. You, think you could get it out for yourself? No, not really. No. No. Not whenever a bunch of things are happening, but. All right, well, hey, man. Thank you for sharing your story. <laughs> I appreciate it. Are you okay if I use it on my social media? You could, you could try to use it, yeah. I mean, yeah. Are you okay with it? Yeah, that's fine.